So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. All right, suit up, landlubber. Let's get this scroller on you. Look pretty damn fine in that wetsuit. Don't go there, dude. Water's toxic. That not a problem? Whole reason we're suiting up. You haven't even asked me if I know how to swim. Not worried I'll just sink to the bottom like a bag of rocks? 50-50 chance, I guess. Willing to risk it for the footage. All right, let's do this. Freezing ass water, here I come. Okay, we're all set. You go first. Stay close behind me, and don't descend too fast. Why bother? I'll just stick close to you. Okie dokes. Virtues are more to you than just a way to churn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think uh, paintings, songs. They're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. calibrated. Back my way now, V. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song. You give me the title. Read me. Sorrentino, only you. Dead on. All right, that ought to do it. What now? Prepare to have your mind blown. Wait for it. Now grab this and hold on tight. Down we go. What is it? Our very own Atlantis. 
Atlantis. It used to be called Laguna Bend. Just 15 years ago, people still lived here. Got some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Why are you showing me this? Want to get the right emotional reactions. Got a feeling this will be perfect for my experiment. Why is this stand to be perfect? Hoping you'll be able to pick up all the unfiltered mess of emotions this place brings out in me. Like it or not, you'll react to those feelings. That's what I want to capture. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time. Gear, stars weren't ever aligned. The truth is, the very idea it just felt weird. Best eatery in town? Only one at that, too. Burgers weren't amazing, too greasy. Big. Of course, I say that now. Back then, they were the best thing I'd ever chewed and swallowed. And next door, that's where we lived. Me and my grandparents. Just let me know when you want to forge ahead. Looks like this fell off your one and only eatery. Let's see now, your childhood tasted like scop dog from Capitan Caliente with habanero sauce extra hot. Of course, tasted even better when you stole them off the stand. You know what they say, it ain't caliente if it don't burn on the way in and out. Got something here. Looks like an old photo cam. DPI 350. Practically an antique. You like it? You kidding? It's awesome. Hockey stick? Is there a skating rink here? I wish. Played street hockey on rollerblades. Which moves in our moves in our music of the music of the Call me! Call me! It's dead meat anyway! Anyway! Here, take this camera. Better off in your hands than sitting here collecting algae. Gosh, thanks. What about your parents? Dad was never in the picture. Mom died when I was tiny. Can barely remember her. Still have her picture, but, you know, I see a stranger there. What was that? Those voices. Voices? Didn't hear anything but you just now. What was it like living with your grandparents? How were they? Granddad had a real knack for things technical. Taught me everything I know. And the stories he told. Ugh, never got bored listening to him. And Grandma was temperamental. Hot one second, cool as steel the next. Where'd your grandparents go? Night City? Yeah, for a couple years. Rented the unit that's mine now. But they hated the city. Moved up to Oregon. I'd still go and visit them sometimes. Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. Looking for 
anything in particular here? No. Can't hurt to look around, though. Picking up very chill vibes. Well, feels like we're outside of time, like in a snow globe. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. Imagine anything that could be more out of place in an underwater world. Mmm. Bottled water? <laughs> Touche, Judy. Touche. I gotta say, I don't really get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. And not in much better shape. Good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though. I wanna see what's further on. I want to show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid, where daily life grinded along, you can imagine it a bit. Ha! <laughs> Church hasn't aged at all. I've always looked old and. Like it had landed here from outer space. Bells were cracked too. Gave off this eerie, atonal clang. Weird, I had no memory of that second ago. Now I can almost hear them. I don't know how it's possible, but... I think I hear those bells too. Seriously? You can hear my memories? It must be a side effect. for another way inside. Be my guest. Did you like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just there, you know? Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to plan a protest. On my way. in here once when no one was around. Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind looking at all those people. Back then I wondered how he could read people's thoughts and know everything about them. Then I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. Chased off. Ran out myself. Echo, I got back scared the little bejesus out of me. Thought it was that crush I had on Jenny Chapman. All that guilt I tried yelling out. Flew right back in my face. Passed out. How'd you manage to lift me out? Dunno, didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful, easy now. So, you're saying you saved my life. Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. Toxic waste? Is that your construct? You 
Heard him? Uh, heard's overstating. It's just surfaced in my head. A thought that wasn't mine or completely yours. Please just ignore his babbling. It's a complicated relationship. Why do I even bother? 